main role was constructing the arcade cabinets. Yeah, yeah, I just drove down to Palmy, I used a skill saw, jigsaw, clamps, and a power drill to um, construct the whole thing out of one sheet of plywood we found behind my dad's shed. Went down to Bunnings to get a couple um, planks. See, so yeah, I just drove down to Palmy one weekend. I, I did try to build it at Massey with the Massey thing, but I needed to get verified, I needed to spend the money on safety equipment. I needed to like get my license for using the power tools. Overall, just way too much effort for driving down to Palmy for a weekend to bang it out. And then we drove it back, it was in my apartment for two weeks, um, walked it down to Zells, and there we are. My experience making this project was really positive. The group was really good, really onto it. Um, it. The only thing is we had too many ideas, so it was quite hard to like, rein it into something that we could manage. My main role. I did the 2D billboards for the game, like so the 2D assets. Uh, I, I think it maybe needed just like a much a stronger, uh, more developed art direction, but mm. we just didn't have time to no. like, write anything up about We it. made like an, a haunted arcade cabinet. What did the other groups do? I don't yeah. know, I didn't have time to check them out. <laughs> I, I think, bottom line, we, we did, we set out what we, we accomplished what we set out to do. Yeah, I think we, yeah, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I think it being a temporary art piece uh, kind of adds the empirical nature of a ghostly arcade cabinet. But, yeah, um, it yeah, it sticks true to I guess its origins. Yeah, it was yeah. here. It was here one day, and it's gone the next.